Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jay Simone. Today I'll be showing you guys how I transform my bathroom floors from this to this. So if you're ready for me to upgrade you, you know Beyonce, <laughs> keep on watching. So the first thing you want to do is clean the floor, clean your original flooring, sweep it, mop it, just to make sure your foundation doesn't have any dust particles or any dirt or residue before you know you put down any type of flooring. So excuse my ghettoness, yes I am using a towel for a mop, judge your mom, that's my business. I just moved here so I had to improvise. I'm using this plastic shower curtain from Dollar Tree mm -hmm, for my foundation. This is to protect the actual floor because you know this is a rental property so we don't want to mess up their floors because I need my deposit back. <laughs> um, so you can use also cardboard or something called plywood. You can get it from like Home Depot or whatever. Um, whichever one you prefer will work perfectly fine. So I cut the plastic in half and taped it down so when it's time um, to put the floor down, it won't slide. Now, that black tape was so useless, like it was just not sticking at all. But I didn't show it in this clip, but I did use clear tape instead and it just got the job done. So this is where you decide how you want your floor to go. You don't want it to be even, you want the towel to be uneven, if that makes sense. You can actually just watch me and see how I do it here. <laughs> I got the towel from Home Depot. It's called Tulip Oak. Um, I only got one box as well and it was about $34. You can see here, every other column was the same. So just make sure you have some sort of pattern and stick to it or else it's gonna look crazy. Now here's the fun part, putting the towel down. Here's a close up. Now before you take off the paper, you just wanna make sure that it's in the right position because it's very sticky. That's why you need to have um, some type of foundation down so you won't get your actual floors messed up. All right, moving along here. So the box cutter did me no justice. As you can see, I'm struggling. Um, it was very difficult for me to cut this towel. Instead, I used scissors and it definitely, definitely helped tremendously. So moving forward, I just used the scissors. Um, as you can see, it was just way more easier for me to use the scissors than that little stupid little box cutter. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to properly measure and cut your towel to fit. So basically I use the paper to sketch the proper size towel and then I cut the paper I use to sketch the area so I can use it as a template, if that makes sense. So this is where your sketching comes into play. You're going to draw a line where you made your sketches and you're going to make sure it's perfect. This little ruler thing came in clutch. Um, you're gonna definitely need this to successfully put down this flooring. I don't know where in the world I would have been without this ruler. Y'all see how perfect that is? Yes, you wanna make sure it looks like that. 
okay? So I literally do the same process that I showed you guys until I get to the toilet and under the sink. So I'm just gonna show you guys just the process until I get to the nitty gritty, the real, the real deal. Also, if you got a pair of gloves you can spare, I definitely recommend you have on some gloves while you put in that towel down because baby, when I tell you that stuff is so sticky, yeah, it's, it's the truth. It's literally like, yeah, it's like that. This was probably like the easiest part. Um, excuse my drawers again, mind your business. <laughs> but yeah, this was like the easiest part. So basically what I'm doing is just outlining the other towel and then just cutting that down and that's it. Like that was easy, it was perfect. As you can see here, again, I'm just using the particular smaller blocks to sketch out the side of the toilet. Again, it was fairly easy for me to do. Um, I got the hang of just like sketching, cutting it and laying it down. Soon is the technical part around the toilet, like the front part of the toilet. But every other particular section was fairly easy. You basically just trace over it with the paper you make sure it is exactly the same on the tile. You cut it and you lay it down. That's it. All right, so here's a close up of me tracing the outer part of the toilet. And then the part on the wall. This is the best angle that I could have got for y'all, but y'all get the picture. So this is how it looks after I traced it and cut it. And it looks like it fit perfect. So I'm happy about that. All right, so now it's all traced. Now I'm gonna cut it. Just gonna cut it, cut it, cut it. And then we gonna see if it fits. So it fit, yay. I definitely could have made it a little bit more perfect so it could be more close to the tub, but no worries. That's what the caulking glue is for. We'll definitely take care of that around the outside. Now this was the most difficult part for me, just basically trying to get the sketch as perfect as possible because you know, it's the front. People can see it when they walk in the bathroom. So I didn't want it to look crazy and I didn't want to put like caulk in the crack. The only place I wanted to put the caulk is around the toilet. I didn't want to put it on the sides or anything like that. So this was very challenging for me, but we got it done, okay? All right, so now we got our template and it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna sketch it out on the actual tile like this and we just go cut it. I also would suggest don't try to cut it down so much before you even actually put the tile down to measure it like the actual piece and then you can just cut down as you go.
I'm using this little box cutter just to perfect it just a little bit as you can see here. Your girl did that. Let's talk about it. Your girl did that, honey. Hmm. Can you say dag on there perfect? All right, y'all. So this is the last piece of the puzzle. Thank God. I didn't show you guys how I sketched it and traced it because you already seen that. So basically, you're just seeing how I lay it down. I actually got this one like absolutely perfect. This is probably the most perfect towel that I got to lay and I am super proud of myself. So after I lay this down, it's gonna be time for the caulking and we gonna be zang, period. All right, so this is for you guys that don't know how to use a caulking glue gun. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna unscrew it and then it's this little silver thing right here. You're gonna punch it just so it can open up like so like that. Oh yeah, you can use that little hole to cut it as well. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to screw it so it can be tight, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. So I'm not a professional caulker, but I definitely got the job done. <laughs> Let's just say that. I would say try not to stop while you're going around the toilet because it makes a dent every time that you stop and go back in, which is ugly. So I had to go in with a little screwdriver and fill the gap from where I stopped. And there you have it. After I use a screwdriver, a little tissue, you know what I'm saying, wipe it off a little bit, made it look like something. From far away, it looked good, you know what I'm saying? Far away, it looked good, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, here's the final look. I'm super happy at how it came out off camera. As you can see, I did the tub as far as like the caulking glue or whatever. Please have some patience and take your time and you're gonna be just fine. So that's all I have for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.